Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. I know that the holiday season is over, but I think a lot of you got this nice little set for Christmas, so it might be a good idea to talk about its motorization options. I did a detailed preview of this set already when it was announced, the link can be found in the top right corner as usual. I won't do a full building review this time for two reasons. First, you could see tons of reviews already online, and second, the building experience is pretty straightforward, there aren't many interesting details to show. Don't get me wrong, I still like the end result, despite the simplicity of the buildings they have many details and play options, together with the minifigures, the different accessories and especially the tram, I think this is a great set for the price. I want to focus on the motorization today, as I think the official guidelines on the box, on lego.com and in the manual are unfortunately somehow misleading and following them is really not the best thing you can do if you want to make the tram remote controlled. A little disclaimer, I will calculate the price and the availability of all accessories required, assuming that you don't have anything besides the set itself. Your mileage may vary if you have some of the extra parts already, but then you probably won't be looking for a solution online to find this video. So, what is the official suggestion and why is it wrong? Let's check the box. As you see, there are a whole bunch of products listed here. Here's the powered up hub, the train motor, the light, and the 60205 pack that is simply called Trax. The manual has the same recommendations as the box, and we get instructions for the hub and lights installation, which is nice. If we check the product page, it says we need the train motor and the hub, and optionally we can get tracks and lights. Well, if you only add the hub and the motor, then the tram will run like this. I'm not sure this would be a satisfactory solution for anyone. But what's wrong with all these? First and foremost, the tracks. That track pack has 8 straight pieces, 4 curved ones and 8 flexible tracks. No matter how hard you try, this won't give you a full circle to run on. You can buy two, even that won't give you enough curved and flexible parts. The reason is simple, this is meant to be an extension pack for the train set, not a standalone product. So why LEGO didn't offer something more useful? Simple and surprising, because there's no such product available today. There are the switches, but they won't help here. We have duplo tracks and that's pretty much all. The train sets have the required amount of tracks included, but there are no other standalone products. Alternatively, you can visit the Bricks and Pieces page and try to buy your tracks there. Let's search for the contents of one of the current train sets. A single curved piece is 2.31 euros and the straight one is 1.33 euros. It is almost exactly the same in US dollars, by the way. So what can we do to have a full loop? We need 16 curved pieces for that and some straights. The first version is to buy the tracks pack and add the missing curved parts from bricks and pieces. The flexible ones included can replace two curved pieces, so we still need to get 10 more. The other version is to get everything from bricks and pieces, which means 16 curved and 8 straight parts. As you see, the first version is somewhat better, but it is still a frightening 43 euros just to have a complete track to run on for a 100 euro set. Now let's see the electronic components. Here's the list what we need. The hub, the train motor and the light. Prices are the same in euros and in US dollars as well. That's another pricey pack, but there's one extra issue which is quite significant. The hub is not available anywhere on lego.com, not in the US, not in Europe and we don't really know when will it come back. Maybe it's on bricks and pieces. Well, I got bad news, it is not even listed there as a part. So, in theory, because you can't buy one of the most important items from LEGO at the moment, the whole motorization would cost 117 euros or dollars. Well, I'm not sure what you think about it, but I wouldn't be prepared to pay more for the motorization than for the whole set itself. Bricklink is always an option, I will talk about that at the end of the video, but most people prefer official shops, so I'm focusing on that first. So, you can buy the hub at the moment from LEGO, and the whole pack would cost a lot of money anyway. What is the solution then? You should buy another train set. No, really. Let's check what is available. The passenger train can be bought for 160 euros on lego.com and the freight train is 180 euros. The US price is not that nice unfortunately, they are 190 and 200 dollars. But here's my point, if you pay 160 euros for the passenger train, you will get 8 straight and 16 curved track pieces, meaning a complete loop, the hub, the motor, the light, an extra physical remote and the whole train. Remember, 
or sum for the motorization was 117 euros, so compared to that you get a remote and a whole train if you pay 43 euros more. And even better, if you go to the German Amazon page for example, you can buy this set already for 125 euros, which means the remote and the train cost only 8 euros compared to the individual recommendations of LEGO. I think this is a way better deal, even if you can't use the train and the tram the same time, as you need to swap the electronic components. The freight train will give you more pieces, more accessories, but for some curious reason that one does not include the light, so you need to buy that separately. It also costs more, I would only go with this if you find the train itself more appealing than the passenger version. If you are in the US then the numbers are less nice as both train sets cost more, but I think even there it is better to go with the passenger train option rather than trying to buy all that stuff separately. So how does the actual motorization work by the way? Instructions are pretty straightforward, it begins with some disassembly, you need to remove a few things from the tram. Interestingly the manual tells you to store the light piece here under the roof, not sure why would we do that as it just rattles there, maybe it's an extra sound feature. There are detailed instructions to arrange the cables, the hub fills a good part of the cabin but we still can put back the seats and this is how it looks like when it is completed. It looks quite okay from the front and from the side, the rear is a bit messy as you can see the cables through the window. There's a control profile for the set in the powered up app, has a nice Christmas mood, you can control the power with the slider, the speed with the other one, there's an emergency stop button, the lights are turning on and off with the school effect so it's a pretty nice experience. As a bonus, if you use a train set for the motorization as I recommend it, you get a remote which can be paired with the hub, this way no smartphone is needed for the control and you can still adjust the speed, turn the lights on and off and stop the tram. I promised a few words about Bricklink. If you don't know the site, it is like the eBay of LEGO sets and parts, you can buy anything used or new from different sellers around the world. You can check the statistics for the past 6 months about the things sold here, so I will use this data for the parts we would want to get for our set. Here are the average prices in Euro, based on this the whole pack would cost us about 77 Euros. This is much better than the official 117, but unfortunately in reality this would cost more on Bricklink as well. As I saw the statistics of the 6 months is always lower than the current offerings, it does not include shipping costs which can add up if you have to buy from multiple sellers and so on. So I would say realistically you could get the components for around 90-100 euros from Bricklink. Well, you can buy sets as well here and interestingly you can already buy the full passenger train set for 100 euros. But if Belgium is far for you then there are a lot of different European sellers, even from Australia, and here is the lowest US price which is quite good actually. And a bonus tip, if you don't want the latest LEGO train set with powered up components, then you can check the previous passenger train, set number 60197, you can get a sealed copy for a pretty good price. That one lacks the light, but it's still a good deal if you have to buy that separately. The 60198 cargo train has similar components and more accessories, but the price is somewhat higher. These four trains have powered up parts by the way that can be easily added to this set following the instructions, anything older is power functions that won't work easily here. So let's sum it up. This is a nice little set, very playable and even more fun if you motorize it. But please, if you don't have any of these then don't follow the official recommendations and spend a lot of money on lego.com or in lego shops to get them separately, get a train set instead and you will thank me later. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as more exciting lego videos are coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.